A symbol of inclusivity, now benched it appears for good. Rainbow colored stick tape, pride tape. Very disappointing to uh, hear this news coming from the uh, NHL. Chris Wells is co-founder of Pride Tape. Invented, he says, to promote inclusion. It was used on occasion on all 32 NHL teams. It's never been forced. It's uh, just been uh, available for players to signal their support without having to say any words. Pride Tape was first used by the Edmonton Oilers and counts the game's biggest name among its advocates. Um, is it something that uh that I'd like to see put back into place one day, uh, certainly. It stems from an announcement last June. The NHL decided to discontinue the use of themed warm-up jerseys after a handful of players refused to wear pride jerseys, some citing religious and cultural objections. That's just become um, more of a distraction from really the essence of what the purpose of these nights are. It's not just pride tape. Other on-ice displays like pink tape or pink hockey sticks for cancer initiatives or camouflage tape in support of military nights also won't continue. There's been a lot of collateral damage in this discussion. David Palumbo is with You Can Play, dedicated to LGBTQ plus inclusion in sport. Unfortunately, you know, I can't sit here and uh, tell you that, you know, a lot of this is because someone has expressed concern over using camo tape to express support for military families or refuses to wear a hockey fights cancer jersey. Many teams will still go ahead with their pride nights. Winnipeg's game will go next month. The commitment, um, you know, from an organization standpoint is, is we'll do everything we possibly can. The NHL didn't respond to a request for comment, but has said many times in the past that it supports diversity and inclusion. Its players just won't be showing it on the ice. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.